Collected this parcel from the post office box today. So let's cut it open and see what's inside. Oops, what's that? Newspaper, work out, plenty of it. We'll take that out, put it aside. Certainly packed very well. I didn't want the objects to move around, that's for sure. There's one, making a bit of a noise, put that down there. There's the other one. Right. I'll undo. The bubble wrap on these, and we'll see what appears. Be careful not to cut through the bubble wrap, just to cut the sticky tape holding it together. Take the top off. And there's the first one. Take the pendulum off. Pendulum there. And we've got a little cuckoo clock. Complete with chains. No hands on that one. We'll have a look inside later and see what we've got. There's a the movement. Put the back door back on again. The gong, that's original. That slide in. All right. Little cuckoo bird in it. Well, put that aside. Now we'll have a look at the next one. Remove the, the bubble wrap. Certainly wrapped very well. The seller was expecting to have no problems with the delivery of it in the condition that left the premises. It's a little bit tight, I'll cut that a bit more. Well, we're getting there now. And another cuckoo clock down there. That's the top piece. It goes on there, though half the roof is missing. There's the chain. Little cuckoo bird at the top. and the back. There's a little movement. 
inside. All right, we'll fix that up when the time comes. Right, I'll put the back back on that again. Well, that's pretty cool. A couple little cuckoo clocks to do some work on. I've never worked on these before, so it'll be interesting to see. There we have the second one. Part of the roof's missing, I'll remake that. All right, there it is. If you want to learn how to service, repair and restore 19th and 20th century mechanical clocks, then subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell.